Hey guys, I'm Ashton. And I'm John with Up Sub Sandwiches. We are back again with our reaction video. Mm -hmm. So, what video we, are we going to be reacting to today? We're going to be watching um, FR, which, John, I don't know, Fur? It's not Mr. Fur. It's Fur. Uh, Reggie Hamilton, the story of Rev Troy Perry. Um, so, I'm guessing Reverend. Sure, I don't. I, I really don't know what that abbreviation. <laughs> we is. are not spiritual in that way. <laughs> um, by the channel Blessed Virgin Mary. The link is down in the description. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you go and so you go sow your support. That was so. that was dumb. No, show no, it your, works. Sow your support. Show your support. Yeah, go with it. Mm -hmm. Um, this was a suggestion from Ventriloquist fans. Fans, how are you doing, man? Good to see you again. Thank you so much for the support, guys. If you want to support the channel, like we said, go down there and click on it. Um, you too can help support the channel if you want. If you guys click on the link down below in the description and throw it down through Streamlabs, we're going to let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10. Include the video's link title, your email. And let's... Oh, wait. Um, you guys, we're so out of the loop with doing we this. We are. Um, all my social medias are here. YouTube, Instagram, <coughs> Snapchat, and then, you know, you know, Instagram bio. And let's get to this video. Let's do it. If I can get this stuff up. Ah, I'm Reggie Hamilton. I'm an openly gay man, and I also happen to be a Catholic priest. It's not possible. My hero, the Reverend Elder Troy Perry Jr. Is this been... Sh this, so this isn't... This is Vance, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is this a different channel that he's using? Yes. He's got ah, two channels. okay. The founder of the Universal Fellowship of Metropolitan Community Churches said something very interesting one time that it touched my heart, lifted my spirit, and it changed my life for the better. And as I tell this story to you, it is my hope and prayer that your hearts will be touched by this story too, that your spirits will be uplifted, and that your lives will be changed for the better. Okay. Let's see it. Troy Perry knew from a very early age that he was gay, just like the rest of us. <laughs> and just like the rest of us, he was brought up in a church that taught him that gay people and homosexuality were abominations in the eyes of our Lord. He was taught that God hated him because he was gay and that he was doomed to eternal hellfire. These messages of hate stuck with him for a very, very long time. And one night, after breaking up with his lover, he decided he had nothing to live for. Nothing at all. He decided he was going to kill himself. He locked himself in the Serious bathroom. Serious time, guys. Turned on the water in the tub, got into the tub, and slit both his wrists. He laid back in the tub and waited to die. But That's thanks be to soda. God, his friends broke down the door and rushed into the hospital, where the doctors were able to save his life. Thank God that Troy Perry did not die that night. While he lay in his hospital bed, he prayed to God, and it was the first time in a long time that he prayed. And while Troy Perry prayed, something amazing happened. God actually spoke to him. God spoke to him and said, Troy, I love you, and you're my son. I don't have stepsons and daughters. From that moment on, Troy Perry knew that he could be gay and Christian and his life changed for the better. It was all because God showed him love that night. First by saving his life and reassuring him that whatever anyone said to him, they were wrong. That God did not hate him, but that God loved him. You know, as I tell that story, I think about something. And here's what I'm thinking. What God told Reverend Troy Perry that night in the hospital he says the same thing to us, even to me. He says, Reggie, I love you. And not just me, but he looks at people like Ellen DeGeneres, and he says, Ellen, I love you. To Elton John, he says, Elton, I love you. And to Perez Hilton, he says, Perez, I love you. And not just us, but you too. He looks at you, and he even says, you can be Alan, good, John. I love you. <laughs> To you, he says, Elizabeth, I love you. To you, he says, Tony, I love you. To you, he says, Isabel, I love you. I could go on and on. Different people, but the same message. God loves us. 
you know, I know that there's a lot of preachers out there who say that God hates us because we are gay and calls us abominable, calls us abominations in the eyes of our Lord. But I'm here to tell you that they're wrong. God doesn't hate us. God loves us. You know, St. John the Apostle said in his first epistle in the fourth chapter that he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. And he who says that he loves God but hates his brother and sister, he is a liar. So as far as I'm concerned, whenever a preacher says that God hates you, they don't know God at all. They're fulfilling St. John the Apostle's prophecy. Well, it's not really a prophecy. It's just, it's what he said. He pretty much said that anyone who says that he loves, he loves God, but hates his brother and sister, and we are brothers and sisters, whether we are gay or straight or bisexual or transgender or whatever we are. We are all brothers and sisters. So when a straight brother preaches that God hates our gay brothers and sisters, they're liars. They don't know God. For God is love, as St. John the Apostle has said. So take my advice. If someone tells you that God hates you because you're gay, or lesbian, or bisexual, or transgender, or whatever you are, don't listen to them. They're liars. God does not hate you. He loves you. Just like he loves Reverend Troy Perry, and just like he loves me, and just like he loves Bishop Gene Robinson, the first openly gay bishop in the Episcopal Church. He loves us all, no matter what we are. So please, don't listen to these preachers who preach messages of hate. They're preaching lies, lies of the devil. Go forth now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. God bless you this day, my brothers and sisters. God love you. He does love you. Amen. All right. Well, now should. I know that me being a lesbian now. <clears throat> huh? Yeah. You didn't know? I did not. No, guys, I'm just joking, but I do feel like every human's a little bit gay. This brings up a lot of questions about that stuff. Huh. Oh, uh, what stuff? <laughs> Nothing. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, Continue honestly, like, um, we're not very religious, you guys. So, like, when I make my life decisions, I don't really think about God. Just think about what I want and what I care about. That's it. If I want to be lesbo, then I'll be a lesbo. It doesn't matter. You know? Right. I'm not very religious either. But the one concept about religion that's always gotten to me, that if God had created me, why does he judge me for what I do? I mean, yeah. yeah. That has always been a thing. That doesn't make sense. Like, I'm not very religious. Like, I... I try to be a good human. I treat people right. I treat people with respect. I don't judge people for being gay, straight, bi, black, purple, green, Mm -hmm. trans, whatever the hell it is. Like, I don't really care. That's not any of my business. So, religion-wise, I'm not religious, so. When it comes to the gay thing, I'm not for it, but at the same time, I I haven't been through the shit you've been through in life. So, for me to say anything about it, it's like... Not accurate, you know? Well, only you know what your feelings are and right. what you like, you know? So you can't really... Yeah, you might look at somebody and be like, well, that's odd, that's strange, you know what I mean? But, like, I feel like, you know, with all the um, gay stuff nowadays, it's, like, so normalized and it's so common nowadays that it's just... It's just there. It's right. not something you really look at and you think anything of. It's just, like... You know? For real, it's your life. Work through it. Yeah. See where you're going. Feel your feelings out. Get to where you need to be. You've been through do your own shit you to get there. Do what you want to do. It's your life. Like who you want. Love who you want. Do what you got to do. That's all there is to it. Amen to that. Okay, <laughs> um, guys, if you want to support the channel, it's Blessed Virgin Mary. The link will be down below in the descripto. Very important to support the channels that you love. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, fam. Bye. You're not going to say it. See, see ya. See ya. What I want to be ya. There it is.